This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Uh, I guess yes. You'll start off first at the falls. Use the control pad to move left or right and score coins. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. Now off you go! Okay. I gotta get lots of coins. There's a green coin here. I don't know what green coins do, but it must be cool. Coin, 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 coin. Okay, gotta get this. Nope, nope. A coin passed. Oh, there's a green coin. This way. Come on, come on. Green coin, green coin. Okay, green coin acquired. Okay, we're doing... Okay, this isn't quite as exciting as I imagined. The Midas Falls. This is top... Top uh, 2D era Square Enix, too. Oh shit, now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Sure, let's do it. Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump on the next barrel before they collide. Okay, miss it and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready. We'll send you on your way. I almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop up or you'll lose coins. Alright, that's fine. How do I get the coins that are in- Oh, oh, okay, I changed course, I changed course. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to change course, like I just missed those coins, but I was missing other coins. I don't know, it didn't say it was good or bad to change course, so... I'm sure there's an optimal route. Oh, shit! Did I just lose every coin I, I managed to collect? Uh, see, I should be on the other course. All those coins, I just missed so many damn coins, so hopefully now this side will be rich in coins. Uh, okay, I'm fine. Perfectly fine. Everything's good. Wasn't that fun? You got 38 coins. Trade the coins you get from Midas River for frog coins. For a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for every 60 of your coins. If you don't know, frog coins are the green ones and Tadpole Pond's got more info on them. But you got 38 coins. But that's not enough cash in, uh, so I'll just hold on to them for you, okay? Come back and try again. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. So I received a nook nook shell. Nook nook shell. That's a thing that I have to say when playing this game. And I got three, three whole frog coins. Okay. So Midas River is done. Jeez. That was fun. That was fun. That was really interesting. I got some interesting stuff in this game. They go outside the uh, the normal RPG stuff. Melody Bay. I don't know if I wanted to come here. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. They won't play with strangers, and so go and meet Frog Fuchsius first. Okay, so I guess this is the location of a mini game. I am the composer, Todu Todoski. <laughs> really, I am trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. You want to write music? Uh, you want a music lesson from moi? Sure. Let's start by reading notes. See the five lines between the second and third lines from the top lines. Do keep going up, and you'll notes. And notes are do re mi. Go down, and you'll get. Doti la sofa. Okay. You're on your way to composing. It's just that easy, huh, guy? 
do 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 Uh, okay, I left. I left by mistake. Silly game. Alright, let's go over here. Nothing's really over here. There's a tadpole there. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you! We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Balmo, Balmon, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really the Super Mario? Every hey, everybody, you'll never guess who's here. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. Mario was enjoying this praise. Well, Grasshopper, that's new. Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up, up there. You're supposed to make me look li like I'm floating here, okay? What's going on? Yeah, nobody, nobody knows that you're floating. Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am Frogfucius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. But how rude of me. Let me con get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Okay. Full reverse. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. The smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep? He is quite formidable, yes. And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happened. You are rescuing Princess Toadstool, to uh, Princess Toadstool from... Bowser's keep after defeating him and just when you were about to free the princess you heard a loud crash and you saw a huge sword split the sky Whoosh out of the blue The shock sent the three of you flying Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there now You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy his underlings are weak or wrecking havoc in our world Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know what, why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can... Gr oh, I'm so sorry. But I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now, more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the, appearing in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No, I do not need a recap. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure, too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now, but, you, but you're not a tadpole. Say what? I was sitting here on one rainy day enjoying a snack of crickets. 
when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought surely this child must be from some far off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. Boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to the Rose Town, where they need your help. I will be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right! I had forgotten all about it! I'll give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Uh, I know. You shall have some. The, have the staff I, I used when I was Mallow's age. Okay, good. Finally. Mallow gets a weapon. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. Go to Rose Town now, Mallow. Luck be with you. Alright, before... I guess I gotta jump across first. Uh, equip. And I got a froggy stick. Which now my attack is higher than Mario's, which is cool. Welcome to the juice bar. Are you a card member? Even Toad... Todos Eski has a member here. Sorry, you're limited to the menu if you don't have a current membership card. So, froggy drink. What does a froggy drink do? Party recovers 30 HP, so... Can't carry... Oh, I can't carry anymore. I have, a, I have a carry limit? Really? Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. You're a first-timer, aren't you? Listen up, the green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them and you can buy items at Tadpool Pond. I wonder if these are permanent, though. I gotta check that. It puts enemies to sleep. Raises these parties' attack power in battle. See, it says in battle. So, but I, I don't know if those are permanent or not. But I'm gonna hold on to these frog coins for now. I'll do some, some research. Alright, I guess... Ooh, there's a tadpole there. I wanna talk to that tadpole. I've got this dream... ...of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Tod Todov's Eski. My favorite song? It's Frog Lucius's Suite Numbers 18. So la mi re do re di do re. Todovsky's fond of it, is what it said before I closed it. Don't hold that against me when I'm editing it, please. <laughs> um. Okay. So now we get to do this thing. All right, first off, let's save because we got a froggy stick. Okay, you want a music lesson? No, I already got you a music lesson. Let's see. So how do I do this thing? Huh? Maybe I can't do it now. Oh, uh, yeah, I talked to him already. My stupid brain. How do I do this? Oh, there we go. Okay. So obviously we have to match the thing that that tadpole just told us. Uh, I have my little cheat sheet in front of me. Because I cheat.
But it's not hard if you know music. Why can't I jump? You just have to time it right so you can jump right when you hit them. Ah! Come on. Alright, and now we're gonna get number two. And then two and a half. 2.5. 2.5. Okay. Er, I'm sorry. It's gonna be two again. Waiting for him. Okay, and then it's gonna be 2.5 again, and then two again. Oh no! Is that something you composed? Now that's amazingly close to my dream composition. Uh, no. Now I gotta do this again, which I apologize for. Because I missed that last one. Alright, so we're gonna go line four. Ugh, why did I miss it? How could I miss it? Four, and then three and a half. No! Okay, that's ruined. This is um, nowhere near as easy as uh, it, it, it should be. Um, it's quite, uh, quite challenging, actually. So I gotta get number four. And then now three and a half. And then now one and a half. And then this one is going to be line two. And then this one is going to be line two and a half. And this one is going to be line two. And this is going to be line two and a half. And this is going to be line two. That should do it. That's it! This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for, for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. I received an alto card. If you've ever dreamed of, of if I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Till then, adieu. What a strange fellow. Okay, so now that I have this card. Uh, this guy. Ah, an Aldo, Alto card holder. What would you like? I can buy Elixir now, which is pretty good. But I can't carry it, of course. So Elixir will... Card partner covers 80 HP. Alright, but I can't buy it because my inventory is full. So I have to come back when I clear out some inventory. Okay. So, I think that's it. Yeah, so now I just have to go on to, um, to Rose Way. Uh, and I guess we'll do that um, in the next part of my playthrough of Super Mario uh, RPG.